All right, this is the figure of eight stopper knot. Gonna reach behind, wrap all the way around, and back through. Once again, the figure of eight stopper knot. This is the figure of eight follow through loop. We're gonna start with our figure of eight stopper knot at one end of our line. And now at the other end, we're gonna follow through. For this one, we're following through tail to tail so that we're creating a loop as opposed to following up through here, following through tail to tail. the figure of eight follow through loop. We could use this to tie our pressic knots. This is our figure of eight follow through bite. We're gonna start with our figure of eight stopper knot. Now we can take this end and put it through our anchor point, capturing it in a bite. This time we're gonna follow through, rather than tail to tail, we're gonna follow through here. So again, that's our figure of eight follow through bite. We can use this to uh, clip onto some sort of anchor point if we don't have a carabiner to link, on, link onto it. Okay, this is our figure of eight on a bite. Now we're going to start by making a bite, reach around, wrap all the way around, and back through. I could now easily clip this onto my anchor point if I have a carabiner. So it's much faster, but I need a carabiner in order to, uh, to link it into something. This is the Alpine Butterfly. We're gonna wrap around our hand three times, starting near our thumb, working towards our fingers. Then we take the middle strand, pass it underneath the strand at our fingers, and then once again we pass it all the way underneath the one that was underneath our thumb. We tighten this up, and it looks like that. We could use this to clip something into a midpoint on our rope, and we could pull on the alpine butterfly from either direction. Okay, now we're gonna tie our three wrap pressic. We start with our cord already tied in a loop with our figure of eight follow through loop. Now I'm gonna take my pressic cord and start by putting the knot over the main line and wrapping around three times. So once, twice, three times. Now when I go to pull this back, instead of pulling straight back on the knot, I'm gonna pull on one side more than the other. And that is our three wrap pressic. It's important that it's dressed so that we have this big band going around the outside and these two strands coming out of the middle. With the three wrap pressic, we could place our hand on it and slide it along the main line. But if we grab it from here, it cams or grabs onto the main line. All right, now we're gonna do a water knot. We start with a overhand knot in our webbing towards one end. Now we could run the webbing through our hands to eliminate some of the twists. Now we're gonna follow through tail to tail. It's important when we follow through, we go this way, kind of over top. With our water knot, it's important that the tails are four inches or about one hand width away from the knot. 